Your goal is to make a simple model to manipulate in future units. You'll create a basic drinking bird model. Very basic. At this point, you won't even have a beak. We'll get to that in a later unit. The drinking bird is a little toy that drinks from a cup. Google it. The objects you'll make are the legs, body, head, and jaunty hat. Here's a blueprint showing front and side views. Well, it's more of a back of the napkin drawing, but sometimes that's all you get from a client. Me, my favorite client comment I heard that one designer received was, could you make that sphere rounder? The three objects you'll use are the cube, well, box, sphere, and cylinder. Here are the typical calls for creating these three objects. For the cube, the numbers passed in are the width, height, and depth of the box. The sphere needs just a radius to describe its geometry. The additional two numbers specify how much tessellation happens along the equator and from pole to pole, respectively. You might try changing these tessellation numbers to see the effect on the body, but please use these numbers 32 and 16 when you submit your answer. The cylinder gives an upper and lower radius, followed by a height, and by the amount of tessellation along its equator. Again, please use the number 32. See the additional course materials for documentation for these various methods. There are three functions you'll be working on. The function create support will make the drinking bird support frame, base, legs, and feet. To get you started, I've laid down a base that the legs connect to, along with the left leg. You'll have to add the right leg and feet. The function create body will create the bird's body and spine. The function create head will make the head and hat. You have to create the objects in the correct location and add them to the scene. When you have done that, you'll see the model of the drinking bird, just like it's shown here.